Hello. In this lesson, I will discuss on uracal abnormalities. The uracus is a remnant of a channel between the bladder and the umbilicus, where urine initially drains in the fetus during the first trimester of pregnancy. The channel of the uracus usually seals off and obliterates around the 12th week of gestation, and all that is left is a small fibrous cord between the bladder and the umbilicus, which is called the median umbilical ligament. Disorders of the uracus occur when there are abnormalities within the sealing of the channel during fetal development. There are at least four types of uracal abnormalities seen. Patent uracus, uracal cyst, uracal sinus, and the divertiplum. From this, patent uracus is the most common one. Let's discuss them separately. The first one is uracal cyst. Uracal cyst occurs when a section of the uracus did not seal off, but there is not a connection between the bladder and the umbilicus. In this case, there is no connection between the bladder and the umbilicus. Often this is asymptomatic and is only detected when ultrasound is performed for other reasons, because it's not connected to either bladder or umbilicus. Occasionally, uracal cyst can become infected and could cause abdominal pain or could start to leak cloudy or bloody fluid as umbilicus. The average age for uracal cyst to present with an infection is 2 to 4 years old. The second is patent uracus, which is the most common one. This occurs when the uracus did not seal off and there is a connection between the bladder and the umbilicus. In this case, there is a connection between the bladder and the umbilicus. So, a patent uracus can cause varying amount of clear urine to leak at the umbilicus. The third one is uracal sinus. This occurs when the uracus did not seal close to the umbilicus and leads to a blinding track from the umbilicus into the uracus called the sinus. There is a connection with the umbilicus, but it is a blind. There is no connection with the bladder. This can be asymptomatic or present with infection with abdominal pain and a drainage of fluid. The fourth one is diverticulum. This occurs when the uracus did not seal close to the bladder and leads to the blinding tract from the bladder into the uracus called the diverticulum. This also can be asymptomatic or present with urinary tract infection. In this case, there is a blinding tract from the bladder to the uracus, so there is no connection with umbilicus. So this can cause recurrent urinary tract infection. When we came to the diagnosis, uracal disorder diagnosis, Uracal disorders are usually diagnosed when there are symptoms such as drainage from the umbilicus, redness around the umbilicus, abdominal pain, or urinary tract infection. An ultrasound can often detect uracal anomalies. A sinogram or sinography is a test where contrast is injected into the umbilicus to see if there is a patent uracal or uracal sinus. Rarely, tests such as CT scan or MRI is needed, but most of the time, but most of the time, uracal disorder is diagnosed by ultrasound. When we came to treatment, if the uracal disorder presents with an infection, the infection is treated first. This requires antibiotics, possible admission for IV antibiotics, and occasionally surgical drainage of any infected cyst or poorly drained cavity. Once the infection is under control, excision of the uracus is usually performed. The main reason for for uracal abnormalities, treatment are for symptoms such as drainage, irritation, or infection. Most of them will improve completely and there is no recurrence, but there is a small risk of localized infection after removal of the uracus, but this can usually be treated with just antibiotics. Thank you for watching.